our, our second and really um, last really true bye week practice as far as not preparing at all for Cal and just focusing on ourselves, um, similar to yesterday. Uh, it was good they came out in full pads again, worked hard, a lot of individual, a lot of hitting, and um, the weather was good for us to have. We haven't really dealt with bad weather much, so it was good, especially for our skilled guys to have to work in this. Uh, with obviously a possibility of that coming up with a couple road games. Um, on our schedule. So it's good to get through this. Uh, no major injuries today, and hopefully we get healthy, and now everything from here on out will go towards Cal. How much do you appreciate the time off, so to speak, to get guys healthy and refocus? Yeah, a lot, you know, to give some other guys some looks, but really to let guys now really start getting healthy. And, um, you know, they basically had outside of treatment and lifting, you know, two days off after the game. Um, now they'll have another one off. Tomorrow, so um, it's good. Uh, it's really good for us because we really haven't had any breaks like that, obviously. You got a chance to see George do a lot of things today. What do you think now? You... Yeah, it really says a lot about him. You know, to sprain his ankle yesterday and come back out today. Um, I wish all our guys did that. Um, you know, he's just continuing really the, you know, kind of the, the third Sarah guy that's like that. You know, that now we're getting to see that they get hurt, they just come out and practice. I think a lot of receivers. Like Robert, you know, leading the country in catches and yards, would come out here um, with his sore ankle and try to take the week off. And so um, George is just another example of those three. They're, they're, you know, they've been coached extremely well to play through injuries, and also, you know, it's obvious they really love football. Did you give Robert any consideration of sitting him out these first couple of days? Yeah, I did. And um, you know, obviously we get some rest time coming up here, but. Just thought it was too important, especially as a message to the team. Here's, you know, what arguably is our best player, and he's out here, you know, going through everything uh, in the rain, trying to get better. And so, I thought it was a great message. When you look at George, I mean, his struggles, you know, the first month, two months of his, I mean, here was that kind of a story of how it's it's hard to be a highly talented prospect in this day and age. With him? Yeah, I think that that that's the norm. You know, what happened with George happens with, you know, almost all these kids around the country. I've said before, you know, you probably only get five to seven. Um, unique true freshman stories around the country where guys come in to make major, major impacts, you know, like Robert did last year. Um, so uh, George is more similar to, you know, once they get some time in the system, they get comfortable, the pressure's off of them. Uh, you, you see what you saw in high school. Is he more natural almost doing what he's doing so far than, than you would almost have a right to expect? Yeah, I was surprised, you know, having not played running back for for a while for him to go back there and um, you know look pretty natural at doing it. It, was, um, it says a lot about what an athlete that he is. And if we could ever get that where you know he really was a, a real running back with that size and that speed and then we know what he can do outside. Um, I mean there aren't many people like that ever. You know that you could you know that run 10-4 and you put out there you can play receiver, we know he can do that. And if he could do this at running back too, that'd be a nightmare uh, matchup issue for people. You have a whole run of three, four defenses coming up. What's the challenge for the offense, maybe more specifically the offensive line? Well, it's a big challenge for the offensive line in the backs um, to, in the tight ends to understand the protections, especially because you're dealing with a team that changes. And so if a team's only three, four, it's a little bit easier because that's all you prepare for that week. But these guys are so multiple. Sometimes there's two downs, sometimes there's three downs, sometimes there's four down linemen. So uh, it makes it really difficult um, you know, on young linemen especially. When you deal with a guy like Ross coming, was the fact that he's so versatile and so willing to get on the field in so many ways, did that contribute to you guys putting him in at fullback? I mean, it's, you know, it's sort of a sudden change. Right? Yeah, it is. I wish we would have done it earlier. And, um, you know, it's just an example of a guy staying around here, um, understanding the systems, understanding techniques. You know, what we teach on special teams can really carry over to offense and defense regardless of positions. And Ross is a great example of that to step right in and be able to contribute. Is he supposed to get have a chance to catch that ball last week? I mean, was that? Uh, yeah, you know, he's he's the he's the fourth option there. Um, not way up there on the ladder, but, <laughs> <laughs> but really good job by him staying alive on the sidelines. And, and you know, Matt's progression to be able to get to the fourth guy was big. Watching the replay of the game last night, there were about four or five chances where you know the defensive line had poles. You know, one of them he throws that crazy shell pass. Other couple of times he, you know, slips away. Is there much different the defensive line can do in those sorts of situations, or is it just sort of what happens? Well, I actually kind of took that as a positive as you watch the film. You know exactly what you said. There's so many times 
that we almost have him. He makes really good out of rhythm plays that I referred to the other day. Um, Matt was making the majority of plays in rhythm, which means the ball's on time, the plays the plays designed right, and it's there. Where we were actually doing some things and took some things away at times, so he had to hold the ball, and now he's having to move around and make a play on the run. And so, and that's why you got to give credit to him. He really played a great game. Um, you know, he just made play after play. You know, and, and really out after the first couple drives, really didn't screw up about the entire game. So that being said, in spite of giving up 41, pretty happy with the way the defense have played. No, not at all. You know, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that that we did some things there that were close to making plays. Um, if we're, if we're watching the film on the other side, uh, you know, I, I would be I'd more nervous if the guys are making a bunch of plays with us in rhythm. You know, he's just sitting there in the pocket and he's making plays in rhythm and we're not causing him much. And then kind of Arizona State was more like that, you know. Um, and so we were covering some things down and stuff, and then he made some really good plays. But obviously we're not pleased with the results of the game.